Well, good morning, everybody, and welcome to King's College Wildflower Meadow. My name is Stephen Coghill. I'm the head gardener here. This is the, the meadow's second year of asking, and here we can see uh, thousands of oxide daisies, thousands of corn chamomile, a sprinkling of poppy, cornflowers, uh, which produces a very rich biodiverse sward that uh, the college is very excited about. The Great Lawn has been a lawn here since around about 1750. Way back in the day, you had very close mown lawns or, or close side lawns as a demonstration of the fact that you were so fabulously wealthy, you could have all this productive land and not do much with it other than act as a foil for the amazing buildings and of course the, the amazing chapel. But as time has gone past, land has to work for its living. Sustainability and biodiversity are two of the watchwords as we walk through into the 21st century. I'm Cicely Marshall. I'm a research fellow in biology with King's. I'm a botanist and ecologist, and uh, my role with the meadow has been to coordinate a biodiversity monitoring survey. We've tripled the number of plant species in the meadow compared to the remaining lawn, or the original lawn as it was. We've been doing a bat survey this year for the first time, and bats have wide territories, right? They'll fly miles and miles, but even for a species with such large ranges, you can tell the difference between the meadow and the lawn in terms of foraging and where they hunt. The, the bats come and hunt over the meadow because there's more insects here. We're going to see more and more wildflower treatments to landscapes and gardens. Cambridge City Council are, in, uh, are doing this even as we speak. And uh, the meadow has created a huge amount of interest within the other gardens within the university. The bales that we harvested last year went out to just about every college within the university. Jesus College, the head gardener there, Paul, actually took a Henry Hoover to his bale and extracted about a, a kilogram and a half of wildflower seed, which now forms their meadow. It's a good news story that uh, you know, it feeds on itself. It's just great to see people walking through it. It's great to see people experiencing it. Not only do you have the, the physical experience of being in a meadow, being surrounded by everything, by the insects, the butterflies, you have the bird song, but you can also, you know, waft along with your hands. You can sort of feel it as you, as you go through. So it, we've got a sensory thing here. You've also got a tactile thing as well. And the ability to be able to completely immerse yourself in a meadow like this is something that we need to do more often. Here's a fantastic example of what you can do if you have a mind to. Mm -hmm.